Adjusting the colors of your coat of arms is a central part of every heraldic work. With CoreMaker you can set the color for every item on the canvas and most of the elements on your canvas have several colors you can adjust. So whenever you click an object on the canvas, like here, the shield, you see all the colors this specific element contains. By clicking on another color here, you can adjust the color easily. The black is always reserved for um, the border, so you can adjust the border colors as well. So instead of picking a color here from the um, pre-selection, you can select a color as well here from um, the, the mix palette. So a solid one, for example like here, very dark gold. You can, instead of um, assigning a solid color, you can go for linear color. So you can determine one color here at this end and another one at the other end and then you can decide how to um, how to drop it. So you see you can um, even create some metallic effects by this way. We have implemented um, several color palettes for you to use and so that you can get a coherent design for your um, for your coat of arms. So uh, when you click on the colors section, you will see the color palettes here, like Elven Nature, Seven Seas, Middle Kingdom, Rococo Romance, so um, several color families. When we go with Rococo Romance, one of my favorites, you can click on the color here and it says copied now because it is now in your clipboard. Meaning when you click here, then select the whole hex area and then paste, you see that the color value has been applied to your element. Instead of having to copy it every time, you can now take the picker button and then you choose this color again from the canvas this way easily putting your selected color to all the items you want to have. Sometimes it is easier to copy an item instead of recoloring it. So for example, I will remove the lily and copy this lily so that I don't have to change the color of every aspect. The elements have multiple colors. So here, for example, the polar bear, the claws and the fangs are gray. The reason behind that is so that you have and can see which areas you can color separately, but of course you can set the colors the same way so that you have the white for both of them. That's the way coloring works in CoreMaker. Feel free to yeah, experiment with colors to um, use the ones uh, you see in the pre-made palettes and yeah, let your coats of arms shine. <laughs>